If there's one thing that makes me sick, it's hierarchy. And McDonald's. And while I will not accept that any person has authority over another, I must admit there are foods in this world that are superior to the rest. They're super foods! And today we're making a hamburger with them. Welcome to the Anders Cookbook. Let's get started by cooking one third of a cup of quinoa and let's make sure it's fair trade because if it's not then what is it? Who knows? There's no label for American corporation funded a paramilitary group to kill union leaders and drive down the price trade or short grain rice in two thirds of a cup of water. Personally I use a rice cooker. I got it from a friend who is clearing out her cabinets. But you can find them on Craigslist, at the thrift store, or garage sales. And even if you don't have one, a pot works just fine. And now that I think about it, it's also good advice for a riot helmet as well. Now we dismantle the sweet potato and modify it so that it better serves our needs. Now we oil up a skillet over medium heat and add one and one thirds cup of the sweet potato. Then we spice it up with a generous amount of cumin and chili powder for explosive results. Go ahead and cover it and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want it to be soft. If you're unsure about removing the sweet potato, just smash it in its current state to test its level of doneness. Ooh, it really did burn. Place the sweet potato in a bowl and add two thirds of a cup of black beans. I suggest buying your beans in bulk so you can save some money, which reduces the stranglehold the oligarchs have on your life. It also reduces waste, which gives us more time on the planet, which means we have more time to defeat them. Now we add a quarter cup of tahini or your favorite nut butter and the rice or quinoa. Now we want to get all the ingredients working together so that their union produces a better result. Individually these ingredients all have their merits but through the use of non-hierarchical cooperation they can create a syndicate that produces delicious cruelty-free patties. Now I recommend refrigerating them if you want a firmer patty, but it doesn't matter. You can fry them up right now, just get them brown on both sides and they're ready to go. Now I use a pretzel bun. I top it with some avocado, some red onion, and most importantly, your favorite barbecue sauce. And golly, I'll tell you, these burgers are great for when you're hanging out with your buds and watching the game while discussing ways to avoid the use of force, coercion, and authority while still producing a productive and desirable society. Have a smashing day! Mm -hmm.